This is the second video in the How to Post Harvest series from WSU. This video is on the Pacific Northwest Dark Sweet Cherry Development Index Chart. Drs. David Gabot and Todd Einhorn at Oregon State University developed the data for this chart. Let me explain the components of the chart and then how to use it. First up are the sizing rings that range from 12 row to 8 row with the millimeter values below. Then the ruler, which was metric on one side and English on the other. The unique feature of this chart is the color development index chart, which is used to predict the distributions of final fruit weight and diameter from the current fruit color. At the top are the seven color names, then the sight holes, and then the prediction values for weight and diameter. Just to point out that the sight holes are just for determining the color of the cherry not for sizing. Now that you're orientated with the chart, let's see how to use it to predict your final fruit size distribution. Step one is to determine the current color by comparing the sample cherries to the color chart. For this cherry, I graded it as a one or blush color. Step two is to measure the cherry diameter. There are a few options available. Here I'm using the sizing rings and it came out as a 10 row cherry or 26.6 millimeters. It was a snug fit, it's so best to check one size up, but it's definitely not an nine and a half row cherry. Another option is to measure the fruit using the ruler and the same fruit gave a reading of about 28 millimeters. If you're fastidious, you should use a vernier caliper for measuring diameter. Step three is to measure the cherry weight or mass to at least two decimal places. This cherry weighs in at 8.15 grams. Step four is to calculate the predicted values for weight and diameter at harvest. I created this spreadsheet available for download at the WSU tree fruit website to do that. In the orange columns you enter your data for desired pick color and current values for color, weight and diameter. In the gray columns the predicted weight, diameter and row size are calculated. These values are summarized in the adjacent summary sheet. If the current color is greater than the pick color the sheet will display over for weight and diameter and just display the current row size. Skip forward me entering the data for 30 fruit to show you how the summary sheet works. You enter the fruit details at any notes at the top and the predicted row size distribution displays in the table and graph below. I set up the document to only print the summary sheet but that can be easily changed in the print settings if you need to. This has been Rob Blakey from WSU Tree Fruit Extension. This video has been made possible by support from the WSU Tree Fruit Endowment. Cheers.